Unfortunately, there's something living under the clubhouse. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to X Life. Somehow, rather surprisingly, I am still a member of the One Heart Gang. And it's actually rather an exclusive club with only a few members. Just me and CPK. And Ollie too, if you count him, except he hasn't even made an episode, so he's in his own club, the Zero Heart Gang. So today I thought it would be fun to make our very own One Heart Clubhouse. Since there are already a few clubhouses at spawn already, we'll go and check those out and get some inspiration, and then I'll build us an exclusive space to hang out. And last episode I got a comment asking me to name a cow Daisy, so I've named my favourite cow, and I separated her from the rest so I didn't accidentally kill her, and if any harm comes to Daisy, somebody's gonna lose some hearts. And if I don't go inside right now, I might start losing some hearts. Now, let's first go to spawn and take a look at what everybody else has built. So I'm gonna use the waystone to teleport to spawn. And up here we have the Four Heart Clubhouse built by Fwip. It's a beautiful orange tree house. I wonder what it looks like on the inside, but I'm not allowed in yet because I only have one heart. And behind me there, you can see the two heart clubhouse, which was built by Scott. And it's got this white and cyan theme. So my goal is to make the one heart clubhouse the ultimate hideout. So I think we'll build it around here somewhere. And I'm going to pick a red color scheme since that is the color of Minecraft hearts. So let's go back home and grab some materials. Two hours later. So here's what I've collected to build my house out of. I planned out a design in single player so all we have to do now is build it without dying. <laughs> okay so the first thing we need to do is put loads of water down just in case I fall. Hopefully I won't die. Now we have a safe area to build. Time to get started. It is very important that I do not die during the construction process of this clubhouse because not only would that be embarrassing it would also mean I'm not even allowed inside. And now the roof is done I feel a lot safer. Oh, it kind of looks ugly. What happened? What went wrong? Okay, good news. The basic shape is complete. So we can start getting rid of this water now. The danger of falling has passed. However, a new danger has presented itself to me. Unfortunately, there's something living under the clubhouse. And by something, I mean many things. You can hear them all right now. They live right here. <gasps> oh, we're gonna have to do something about this because that is not the relaxing, chill vibe that I wanted for the clubhouse. Oh, there it is. That's the cave. Oh my goodness. What if something flies out? Anything could happen. I'm just gonna let the sun shine in. Maybe it'll set them all on fire. Maybe I'll just put some water down there and flush them out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I should not have done that. I could not have made a more terrible mistake. How was I meant to know this would happen? Help, what do I do? I'm gonna get rid of the water. Oh no. Okay, this is officially a huge disaster. Oh, it's gone. Oh, he's out. He escaped. No, get back down there. Well. Ah. Oh, that was a bad idea. Nope, in fact, I would say that was a terrible idea. Okay, this time I'm gonna pour some lava down there to exterminate them. Ha! Oh, no. <gasps> no! Oh, I just gave them the lava. Okay, actually, there's nothing down there. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, it's kind of safe down here. Now let's fill this in so that nothing creepy spawns. One eternity later. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, it certainly sounds a lot safer now. I think we can start decorating this place to make it look a lot more beautiful. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a number one onto the front because the two heart club has a number two and the four heart club has a number four on theirs. So I think we need to proudly display our status. Okay. There, how's that? Okay, looking good. Now we need some windows so that creatures and intruders cannot enter through the open holes here. So I wanna make some red glass. Okay, cool. I think we need to get working on the inside because this is a mess. Okay, now the first important thing we need to do is make sure that people don't just wander in here that aren't meant to be in the One Heart Clubhouse. So I'm gonna make an iron door and I'm gonna place that here and I'm gonna do some redstone so that I can hide the location of the button so that only members of the One Heart Club know how to open it. And I will tell you guys where it is later. So now that we have the door sorted out, let's do some decorating on the inside here. Of course, this white bed will just not do. We need it to be red. And since there are three members of the One Heart Club currently, I think we should get three beds. And I'm gonna make a giant bunk bed. <laughs> 
Okay, that looks completely ridiculous, so it's perfect. Also up here I've added a decorative shelf with a bunch of random red things on. This is a spider's eye. Kind of gross. And I've put some chests here as well for all of us to keep our stuff in. And then down here, I've made a wall of furnaces. More furnaces than anyone could possibly ever want, but they might come in handy one day. And then here we have the dinner table where we sit and take our feasts, this adorable bookshelf, and of course a jukebox. Now, there's one last thing this place is missing. We need some fairy lights, but to get fairy lights, I need string. So I need to kill some spiders. And I have a plan. I'm going to go home. And I'm gonna make one of these time ones from some sticks and a clock. And I'm gonna try to manipulate time so that I can kill spiders. This could go horribly wrong, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change it to night. Oh, that was fast. I changed it to night. And now I just have to wait for spiders to spawn, preferably over in that direction. And I can snipe them from here. Wait, is that a spider? Oh my gosh, one spawned over there. Yes. Now to collect the spoils. One piece of string. Okay, we just need to do that again. Guys, there's something blinking over there. It's looking right at me. I'm making it daytime. What was that? You guys all saw that, right? Three days later. Okay, I've managed to collect five string, which is honestly kind of pathetic, but that was really scary. And at one point, I'm pretty sure Joel came on just to laugh at me in my dirt tower. So I'm gonna go back to spawn and craft some of these red fairy lights. And now we can make them into a string of fairy lights. Ta-da! And now hang them up. All right, so that is the inside of the clubhouse complete. I think we need to add some more decoration to the outside because it looks a bit plain out here. So I'm gonna surround it with a hedge first of all. So we just need a bunch of leaves and I shall take them from this tree. That should be plenty. And this should keep out any mobs as long as we light up the inside. And I want to decorate this place with some red flowers. So I've got these roses for the sides. But I also made a mod for this series that adds lots of different flowers. So I thought it'd be really cool if we could try and obtain some of these red ones to plant them in this garden. So in order to do that, I'm going to need an empty pollen jar, which I can then use on something like a rose. This is gonna give me red hybrid rose bush seeds, which I can then plant in the ground and eventually they'll grow into mini rose bushes. So while that grows, I'm gonna go and try and find some different red flowers so that I can grow them here and maybe get some vines as well. So for my experiments, I'm just gonna collect all of these different flowers and try various combinations. So I want red flowers, so I'm gonna collect the red pollen first and then put it onto these various flowers. So that one is Bougainvillea. So we'll plant that, see what that turns into. This one's a red dandelion, red hyacinth, red foxglove, Okay, so we've got a few different ones there. So we'll wait for these to grow and we'll see which ones would look nice with the clubhouse. The next day. Oh, ooh, some of them have grown already and they look so cute. Okay, they've all grown now. So we can harvest these and they become placeable flowers. So now I have a selection of red flowers. I'm just gonna start placing these on the grass here. Okay, the garden's looking really cute now. I think we just need to put some vines up on the roof here. Okay, the garden is complete. We'll check back when the vines have grown, but hopefully it looks cute. Now the last thing for me to do is to invite all of the members to come and see the clubhouse and reveal how to open the door. So let me take you to see the One Hearts Club. If you'd like to follow me, please. I would love to. So here Ooh. it is. And there's a twist to this clubhouse in that okay. only members know how to open the door. So ah. pretend you're not a member for a second and try to enter the clubhouse legitimately. Let me go in. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's you. So it'll be something tricky, like something hidden or... Oh, <gasps> oh my goodness. I've taken your bush. I'm so sorry. I can't believe you've done this. Is there any secret portraits? <laughs> um, okay, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. If you are not a member of the One Heart Club, look away now. So if you come over to here, you'll notice that there's a rose bush missing. And if you right okay. click, there is a lever within. <laughs> That's so sneaky. And then when you get inside, you have to close it behind you to keep out any intruders. And this is the clubhouse. Oh my goodness. I like, wow, you really stuck to the theme too.
Yeah, very red in here. You should see upstairs. Up here is the dormitory where we've got a triple bunk bed for all three of us. Let's hope that we do at one point get all three of us <gasps> on before. That would be so cool. We could all use the triple bunk bed. Um, there's also a chest here for your stuff. So feel free to leave anything ah. here. But when you leave the club, you will have to empty your locker and you'll never be allowed back in. So enjoy it while you can. Now, just in case confusion doesn't keep them out of the clubhouse, I'm going to put a sign members only. No intruders. And that includes myself if I ever leave the One Heart Club. So maybe by the time Ollie logs in, he might be the only member of the One Heart Club and this place might be an abandoned relic by then. So I guess we'll see how long I survive on One Heart. But that is it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time.